Are you looking for a new way to assemble your Red Hat Enterprise Linux servers? Then you came to the right place. My name is Eric the IT Guy Hendricks, and I'm a technical contributor here at Red Hat. Today, I want to introduce you to Image Builder and the Image Builder service. With these tools, you'll be able to generate golden images from scratch. Regardless if you manage 20 servers or 20,000, deploying an operating system requires both time and resources. We tend to hear the same three challenges from our customers and communities across both industries and scale. First, it takes time to deploy a new server. Deciding on a build and platform, potentially ordering hardware, installing the OS, and ensuring it's up to the current patch level. Secondly, this issue gets worse with scale. The more tools, scanners, certifications, and nodes that are added to an environment, the more effort it takes to deploy a new workload. This complexity certainly doesn't grow linearly, it's compounding. Thirdly, it's hard enough to maintain one image in one place. But what happens when that same image gets deployed on a developer workstation? then a secure disconnected private cloud, and then a DR site. This doesn't mean, though, that this has to be a painful process. In fact, Red Hat has been working with the Composer project to help build a tool to make it easy to deploy a multitude of workloads without the need to worry about version or platform. You can deploy the exact same image on a laptop-based VM, a public cloud, or even on your primary hypervisor. This is where Image Builder comes into play. This amazing tool allows you to select packages, create users, define file systems, all within an easy to use interface. Not only that, you can host this on our local Red Hat Enterprise Linux server, run it from the command line, or right from our hosted service on console.redhat.com. These tools work to create an operating system image that is fine tuned for the platform that you need to run it on. Image Builder has support for a variety of formats from QCOW2 to VMDK, from bare metal to edge, and as templates on several of the largest cloud providers. This helps you ensure that you have a universal gold image ready to deploy anywhere at a moment's notice. So how does this process work? I'm so glad you asked. First, determine where your workload is going to run. Is it going to be a physical server in a data center, running on a public cloud, or deployed onto an edge device being shipped to a remote location? Second, from there, you need to decide if the hosted service will meet your needs or if it makes more sense to build the image in your on-premise data center. Thirdly, create your image. This involves designing your file system layouts and adding packages. Fourth, build the image. This is where Image Builder adds the extra little bits that optimize your workloads for AWS or configure the image for deployment on OpenStack. Finally, deploy your needed instance. With these simple steps, it's never been easier to get your needed applications running right where you need them, when you need them. Now, I'll admit, this sounds like a bit of a commercial, but it really is that easy. Let's work through a demonstration. What you see here is I'm logged into my account via console.redhat.com and have navigated to our Image Builder hosted service. Our hybrid cloud console also is home to Red Hat Insights, our tool for proactively monitoring systems for vulnerabilities, configuration drift, just to name a couple. Today, though, we're going to talk about Image Builder. So from the main dashboard, we're going to go ahead and create a new image. Our hosted service currently supports the most recent versions of RHEL, 8 and 9, with additional versions planned for the future. In the next row, we can choose between several of the most popular cloud providers, as well as VMware, a QCAD2 file, or an installer ISO for bare metal use cases. For today's example, let's pick GCP and a guest VM image. When selecting certain options, you'll notice how the breadcrumb trail on the left changes with additional options. In this case, we see that we have several options for sharing out our GCP instance. We can have it shared to our own account, a service account, or a group or domain. For now, I'll put in my work email and click Next. This step is probably one of my favorite set of features. You can actually pre-break your registration and insights activation right into your images. All you need to do is select an appropriate activation key and click Next. You can, of course, register your systems later, but choosing this option saves you multiple steps every time you deploy a new system. Next, we need to define what our file systems will look like. We can go with automatic partitioning, which will put all of our directories into a single root file system, or we can define our own. If we choose manual, you can see our image is pre-populated with a 10 gig root partition with the option to add additional partitions. Let's go ahead and add a 4 gig home directory. We can also create subdirectories of our own. So let's say we're deploying a pretty basic web app. Let's put our content in slash opt slash my app and give it four gigs as well. Now we can pre-bake our image with any packages available to our subscription. We said this was going to be a web server, so let's add Nginx. 
I also may do some troubleshooting on this box, so let's also add one of my favorite utilities, Tmux, a terminal multiplexer. That's pretty much it. Let's give our new template a distinctive name and review all of our settings. Once we're satisfied, let's create our image. You notice now that I have two jobs in progress. One is building out my QCOW2 VM image, and the other is creating my compute template for GCP. The amount of time this takes to build out an image varies based on the complexity of the image, the size of the image, as well as the usual traffic you might expect on a shared service. We see that the QCOW2 image has completed, and we can now download it to our local file system. From here, we can distribute it anywhere, a RHEL hypervisor, developer's laptops, or even an OpenStack cluster. Once the GCP image completes, I'll be able to grab the URL to the image and copy it into my own account or team account in order to be selected as a deployment option. And that's it. Managing your golden images no longer needs to be a complex and time-consuming process. With Image Builder and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, you can get to Hello World faster than ever. If you'd like to learn more about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, start your free trial at redhat.com slash tryrel. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments if there are other tech tips you'd like to see, and be sure to subscribe to get more content just like this. Until next time.